here we can see the pancreas and this is the main pancreatic duct and this is the accessory pancreatic duct. The main pancreatic duct and the common bile duct that we can see segment right there, they both open up within the duodenum right here in what we call the hepatopancreatic sphincter, also named sphincter of Odi. And it's green because bile is green, so it's easy to identify the hepatopancreatic sphincter. This is the duodenum, and right here would be the segment of the small intestine that's after the duodenum, so this would be the jejunum. This part right here is the abdominal aorta. And this is the first unpaired branch of the abdominal aorta, which is the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk is a trunk, it has several branches. And the branches are the arteries. So here we see the splenic artery going to the spleen. Then we see the common hepatic artery. And when the common hepatic artery it splits and goes into the liver and it's properly located within the liver that is named the hepatic artery proper. After the liver process, all that needs to be processed, then the blood leaves the liver through these blood vessels which are named the hepatic veins. And then the hepatic veins that you can also see here the hepatic veins, they drain the blood out of the liver and put it inside of the inferior vena cava, which will take the blood back to the heart, specifically the right atrium of the heart. Now, looking here, you can identify here the splenic artery that we just mentioned. This one is the splenic vein. And this, if you compare to the other model, you probably saw the video before this video, you can identify that this would be the inferior mesenteric vein, and then they will go towards the hepatic portal vein that we cannot see in this model very well.